Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Overend. So in nursery this week, we've been building a castle. And you saw Mrs P make a castle on Zoom. So I thought I would read a book that has a princess that lives in a castle and her dad, the king, has to go and get some help from some witches. This book is called Rich Witch, Poor Witch. There once were twin witches named Rita and Rose, who each had a wart on the end of her nose. But everyone always knew which witch was which, for which Rose was poor and which Rita was rich. If folks broke a toy or their granny's old clock, had blisters or toothache or mislaid a sock, Rose would sort out all their problems for free and give them a cake and a nice cup of tea. But Rita preferred to have wealthier clients, like kings and princesses and great greedy giants. Why only last week, Rita scoffed, a rich queen called by with the naughtiest prince that you've seen. I waved my gold wand and as quick as a flash, the prince was a frog and the queen paid in cash. <laughs> One morning, witch Rita was just getting dressed when the king in his carriage arrived, looking stressed. Please come to the palace, he said. Will you hurry? The princess won't smile. It's a terrible worry. Oh, I'll soon have her smiling, said Rita. You'll see. I'm happy to help, um, for a moderate fee. When they got to the palace, she had to confess that she'd never seen such a gloomy princess. Rita conjured up candies and boxes of chocks, exquisite tiaras and fabulous frocks, but none of these things put a smile on the face of Princess Anna Lucinda Cecilia Grace. Hmm, a makeover maybe? Now how about blonde, which Rita declared with a twitch of her wand, or a different hairstyle could be just the job. Pigtails? Mohican? Afro? A bob? But Anna Lucinda Cecilia Grace showed no signs of smiling, not even a trace. Hmm, thought Witch Rita, I'll make her smile yet. I bet all she needs is a cute little pet. But a basket of kittens and six kinds of pup, plus a hamper of hamsters, did not cheer her up. No, Anna Lucinda Cecilia Grace just sat on the sofa and stared into space. An exotic pet! Rita declared with despair as she conjured a dragon cub out of thin air. It blinked in surprise and looked rather uncertain. Then, achoo! It sneezed and set fire to the curtain. The other pets, who until then had been quiet, leapt to their paws and completely ran riot. The dragon took fright at the yowling and yapping and flew round the room in a great fit of flapping. A fine chandelier seemed a safe place to stay till it started to creak and to groan and to sway. Then down came the great chandelier with a crunch and demolished the dowager duchess's lunch. This place is a wreck wailed the king. Goodness me! Which Rita you'll pay for this out of your fee? The queen looked in horror at all of the mess, then suddenly wondered, oh, Where's the princess? Here's Mart, the king's butler. Uh, begging your pardon, which rose has arrived and she's out in the garden. She's running around on the lawn playing chase with Anna Lucinda Cecilia Grace. Everyone stared in amazement at Mart 
and then into the garden dashed king, queen and court. Hurrah! said the king. What a wonderful sight! She's smiling at last! The queen clapped with delight. <laughs> but how did you do it? said Rita. Do tell. What charm did you use, dearest sister? What spell? Oh, I don't need spells, said Witch Rose. Or a fee. The princess just needed a playmate, you see. The king sighed. Oh, we've been far too busy to play. We'll have to have more fun and games every day. In fact, we'll start now. Come along, everyone. Let's all play chase. And he started to run. Daddy, wait, said the princess. Just hold on a bit. I've got something to say to Witch Rita. You're it! <laughs> and Anna Lucinda Cecilia Grace ran off with a whopping great grin on her face. <sighs> oh well, Rita laughed. You're right, I suppose, that you don't need a wand to work magic, dear Rose. The end.